It's time for the highlight reel. I'm going to speed through today's political headlines and tell you why they matter all in 100 seconds. The president had breakfast with the oldest known American veteran of World War II. So according to USA Today, the president and Richard Overton, who is a 107 year old man from Texas, had breakfast this morning. Overton volunteered for military service in his 30s. Now his secret to longevity, this is great. A tablespoon of whiskey in his coffee, of course, and a dozen, dozen cigars a day. Former Illinois Congressman Bob Dold is running for his old seat. According to the Hill newspaper, Dold, who narrowly lost to Democrat Brad Schneider in 2012, says he is back in the race, says he's more bipartisan and better poised to take on the more conservative members of his own party than is Schneider. This is a district that's been held by centrist Republicans for a very long time. West Virginia Democrats have enlisted a top recruit for Congress. So Metro News in West Virginia reports that state auditor Glenn Gaynor, who's been in office for more than 20 years, says he is running frustration over the government shutdown prompted his decision he will be in the race against second term Republican Rep David McKinley in the competitive first district. Sarah Palin says the national debt is like slavery. Now, speaking at the a conservative fundraiser this weekend in reference to the U.S.'s borrowing from China, Palin said, quote, this isn't racist, but it'll be like slavery when that note is due. We are going to be beholden to a foreign master, end quote. Uh, she is on a book tour for a Christmas book. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham has yet another GOP challenger. So the state newspaper reports that attorney and Army veteran Bill Connor will be running. He's the fourth Republican to join the race against Graham. Connor previously ran for the Republican nomination to be the lieutenant governor in 2010, but lost in a primary. Could be a very tough race for Lindsey Graham. I heard a bell. That's it for the highlight reel. If you think there's a story I should have included but didn't, tweet me using the hashtag InPlay.